Hi everyone, welcome to another video by Optionables. My name is Saket and in today's video, we are going to look at what happened to the markets and what we can expect from the markets tomorrow. And finally, I'm also going to show what positions we are holding. So before we move on, uh, we have been getting a lot of FAQs uh, regarding the Target app. We are going to launch Target pretty soon, sometime in next month. And also, we'll be uh, having Target for early release. And uh, before that, the FAQ, what we are going to address today is, what happens if, let's say, the stop loss is triggered and the order is not filled? So how is this actually going to solve this issue? So right now, what we have done is, after the trigger happens, in case let's say if it is stop loss order trigger or even the normal order which is open so if the order is not filled within the next three seconds then automatically the order will be shot at market once more so that means there is no question of the order not getting executed so it will check for every three seconds if the order is not filled again it will shoot at market so eventually your stop loss order be it your stop loss order or your normal order unless you have a margin shortfall is sure to get executed so with this uh, now we'll be moving on to see what exactly happened to the markets so today markets opened gap down so it was pretty surprising yesterday because all the markets asia and europe all of them were trading hugely in positive and even us opened in positive but uh, pretty soon we saw a huge sell-off in US. Nasdaq was almost up by 1.7% and Dow Jones was up by 1% and all of them gave up their gains and all of them almost ended flat or even negative. So that's the reason uh, following this even Asia opened mix and even SGX Nifty indicated a negative start of around 100 points. And as suggested by SGX Nifty, uh, surprisingly, we actually opened exactly 100 points lower. So as we opened 100 points lower, so this time we never really saw any huge buying come in. Generally, if you have observed in the previous days, whenever there's a huge gap down opening, we see a huge buying come in sometime and the markets will almost try to turn positive. Sometimes it has gone positive and also closed in positive. In some other cases, it has moved closer towards positive and later come down. But today, the scenario was different. Market didn't even try to recover. So it opened lower and continued further lower. Nifty opened around 16,500 and quickly slipped towards 16,400. Not just this, it also broke 16,400 and traded below 16,400 for quite some time today. Towards the end, we saw some buying coming in and thankfully because of that, Nifty was able to close above 16,400, which is a very good support level. So why is this a support level? Technically, we have seen that before this market had faced severe resistance around 16,400. Every time it came towards 16,400, the market was pulled back towards 16,000. And finally, market had broken 16,400. Hence, this level of 16,400 is going to be very key support level for the markets in the shorter term. And similarly, Bank Nifty 2 uh, opened somewhere around 35,000 and it slipped well below 35,000 towards 34,800 and thankfully towards the end, it was able to recover back towards 35,000. So the thing is, uh, it's pretty obvious uh, that FIIs would have sold uh, today's market and DIS might have purchased some. Today, most of the heavyweights, except for Reliance, everything else traded in red and that's the reason even Nifty was down almost around 1%. This will bring us to the next question of what we can expect tomorrow. So tomorrow is RBI policy and this is very important or crucial for the markets because market right now is expecting a 40 basis point rate hike. So the average is 40, some are expecting 25, some are expecting 50 and some are even expecting 30 and all. So the average increase that is expected is around 40 basis points. So with this in number, the markets have already fallen. So any number which is lesser than 40 basis point is actually going to trigger a rally in markets because it is going to be a positive news for the markets. Even though the rate hike is happening, rate hike happening lesser than the expected number is the positive news for the market and that will trigger a rally in the markets. If that happens, then we can surely expect 16,400 to act as a good support for the short term. 
what if if that doesn't happen and the market goes below 16400 so this is always a possibility if the statement is hawkish if rbi says that the inflation is still uh, above expectation and they're still going to remain hawkish so in such cases uh, even though it's only 40 basis point as expected the markets might react negatively and if we end up closing below 16400 this level is going to be a very good resistance for the short run now, if you look at the bank nifty, bank nifty is going to react even more sensitively to these rate hikes uh, compared to nifty because banking sector is directly linked to lending and borrowing which happens in the economy. Bank nifty is also at its crucial support level of 34,700 because uh, quite some time we have seen that bank nifty took some resistance at 34,700 and it was pulled back towards 34,000 and finally with strong volumes it had broken 34,700 hence that is going to act as a good support level. In case if 34,700 is broken tomorrow on a closing basis then again the market view is going to turn bearish. So that's the reason uh, tomorrow's event is going to be quite crucial for us to determine what is the market view. Right now if you look at the open interest there are a lot of short straddles at 35,000 and 16,400. But this can quite easily change uh, because we have a news based event tomorrow and right now the premiums are also quite high and once the event is over we can expect some crash in the premium. So tomorrow it will be a quite uh, good opportunity for intraday players because the premiums are expected to crash post the event. So now coming to our positions, we still continue to hold our shorted put positions at 32,500 and we still have some more put positions which we have shorted of the month end contract. And the thing is uh, we are only going to adjust this once we see a closing well below 34,700 because 34,700 as we have discussed is a very good level of support and until and unless that is held we are not going to adjust our positions and once that happens we might either start shorting some calls on the higher end or convert this whole position into a ratio spread. So what we are going to do maybe we will discuss uh, based on the tomorrow's price action in case if bank nifty ends up moving higher then there is no need to adjust it is going to give us quite good profits. But there is one thing which we ended up adjusting today. Uh, if you remember, uh, we were long on Nifty futures and since uh, we were a little skeptical on the market, we squared off the futures because we already had a lot of put positions uh, which we had shorted. Uh, because if tomorrow market ends up falling, then we are going to hit uh, get hit both from futures as well as the put option short. So that's the reason today we have closed futures. In case if the market starts to rally, then uh, we obviously have a lot of put positions shorted, which is is going to give us some profits. So today's uh, M2M was negative 2.7 lakh and this was uh, mainly due to the huge fall in the market both in Nifty and Bank Nifty and this was again more or less on the expected lines. Tomorrow even if the market opens flat or slightly lower and even if it consolidates after the monetary policy then we are expecting some premium decay to happen because of the IV crash. So let's see uh, what is going to happen tomorrow. Anyways I will be coming out with a video where I will give you an update of what exactly happened and coming to yesterday yesterday we ended up making somewhere around 1 lakh profit and today we have a loss of close to 2.7 lakh all in all uh, two days into the week uh, we have a net negative of 1.7 lakh and we have squared off our nifty future long position so that's the market update as well as the market outlook for tomorrow and if you have liked this video do not forget to hit the like button share this video and subscribe to optionables thank you so much for joining